it's Wendy here again from Toon Peach Cross and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing a piece that I wanted, I, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with dragons, I really am, I always have been, I don't quite know why, but every film that has dragons in it or TV series, I am hooked, love dragons. So when I saw this mould I had to buy it. Now you may remember a little while ago I did a dragon and a moth for my sign. I found a bigger dragon mould from the same person on Etsy. Everything will be linked down below as much as I can possibly manage anyway. And this is it. This is my dragon mould. Now I'm planning, it's quite big, a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I'm planning to colour it, to take it out and to cover it in jewels or paint or something, bling it up a little and then top coat it or dome it or something. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Can't wait to do this one, I love dragons. So to start with, I'm gonna be using Rose Red Mica Powder from Let's Resin. And I'm dusting all the wing area. Now the way I do this is I put on a color and I take parts of it off before I put another color on. You may have seen me do this before. And I'm basically just gonna give you a very quick rundown of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Most of this will be speeded up so that you can see what I'm doing, but without all the faff. Now I'm just gonna clean up the mold. Again, I'm not gonna show you the whole lot, but you get the idea. Mica powder dust does go everywhere. It really does. And it always goes in the places where you don't want it to. If you have any questions about dusting molds or about anything really, put them in the comments below. I'll always get back to comments. So now I'm on to the second colour which is bronze blue again from Let's Resin. I haven't even opened this one look. These are new addition to my colours and I absolutely love them. They are so so sweet. They are dual colours so you'll see one colour one way and one colour another. Now trying to get hold of that kind of thing in the UK is very difficult. And as I got these on Amazon, couldn't believe my eyes. Now we have Hemway Black, I always decant the black because I can't deal with the packets, it's just too difficult for me. I'm going to clean up his eyes a little and his nostrils and I'm going to put the black just in those areas. Just with a wet cotton bud, cleans off the mica powder very easily. Now I'm on to Perlex Pigment Silver, number 663 apparently. And I'm going to do the entire skull silver. Now I will take off some parts to make it a dark, darker colour for the eye sockets and the nose valves. But this is a basic colour. I'm not really trying to make the colour of this mould as I normally would. I'd normally go over with every detail and make sure every part is exactly how I want it to be. Most of this will be three colours. You've got the silver for the skull, the pink and the blue for the wings and a, a little dark black highlighting because the majority of the blinging up will be done after the cast.
I do try a little bit of red around his nose. This is Resinate Red. I'm not too keen on this red because it does tend to go a little brown when you put black behind it, but I've put it in there anyway. A little bit of white for his teeth, just a touch, just to go over the areas that I've cleaned off. And the black for the eye sockets. I put on quite a lot of mica powder and then I take it to one side and I blow off the excess. It's always worth doing that because otherwise you get floating mica in, in your resin. So I'm just letting you see how it looks at the moment. I'm going to use glass cast for the pore and resinate black pigment opaque there is a bit of a shortage at this time of filming of resin in the UK it's getting a little better now but at the time of filming there was a lot less resin around available to be able to purchase and I was running very short so I was using up a supply that I'd had actually for probably about eight months nine months so now I'm filling it up with the black pigment and I'm gonna pop it in my pressure pot Twenty-four hours later, time to do mould. Now this is actually probably more like eighteen hours later, and it's still quite soft. Those colours are gorgeous. I'm just making sure that he's going to sit flat for a while and cure up properly. Now this is a little time later and I'm using liquid chrome pen to highlight some of the areas on his wings and on his body. Now when you're using a highlight pen on something that's 3D, it's not very easy to get into the detail behind places because the pens are very thick. So I decided to use a paintbrush with the liquid chrome on it. I can do all the exposed areas, but with the bits behind, I'm taking some of the liquid chrome onto a small paintbrush and then I can get the small paintbrush into the areas that I've missed with a liquid chrome pen. So now it comes to the jewels or the gems and I've got some sticky, this came from I think Poundland. These are just sticky gems that are on a, in a string. I think they're designed for card making and they will stick pretty much onto it, anything really but they won't necessarily stay there. So in order for them to stay there I'm going to cover the whole thing in resin. Still a bit soft, not quite cured up properly yet. I was in a hurry, obviously. And you can snip them. They're just on little bits of like plastic, so you can snip them and put them where you want them, really. And I'm just going to cover it with stick-on gems. So here they are all stuck on. I've decided on black and silver. I took the ones off of his face, decided I didn't want them on there. I'm using Resonate Coat It. This is the first time I've used Resonate Coat It, so I didn't know how it would go. 
but it, it worked really well. Maybe I should have left it to thicken up a fair bit because it was pulling away from certain areas. I think if it was thicker, it would have stayed a little bit better. So I ended up by putting quite a lot on because it was pulling away, but it did the job. So I was happy. Purple dragons, what isn't there to love? And you know I love this, right? I mean, he's absolutely gorgeous. Think about blinging up your resin. The, there's so many different types of plastic stick-on gems out there. You put resin over the top, they'll never, they're never going to move. The resin will keep them there. You can make a dull mould, a shiny mould. You can do dust in mica, which comes out matte. You can make it shiny and look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? He's going to be pride of place in my new craft room once I finish decorating it, hopefully soon. And hopefully I'm going to put up a video of the time lapse of that or something. I'll do something. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've really loved doing it. Come back and see what I'm up to next week. I'll put some steals up at the end. Take care. Have a good week. Bye for now.